Hi everyone, this is Mindy and welcome back. Tonight we have one more special stamp timber surprise from Simon Says Stamp. This kit is more of a religious based theme for your Christmas cards. So I'm going to go through the contents of the kit and create three cards using products from the kit. So first thing when I open my box is we have these large mesh bags with a zipper pouch that is great for storing all of the contents of your kit. You're also getting this slimline envelope and then some card stock along with some gold mirror card stock. There is a beautiful sequence mix included in the kit and I'm going to use some pieces out of there. We have these tags. Now these are really pretty. I didn't end up using them today, but I'm going to show you up close. They kind of have this pearlescent look to them and that thread is beautiful. But these have like a pearlescent sheen to them. Very pretty and elegant for your cards. There's also a, another tag mix here. Now this one has some designer edges to it. There's a few varieties in there to that design towards the bottom. There is this beautiful star die, which I will be using today. There's also this angel one. There are also some more envelopes in here for your A2 size cards with that self sealing on them. We have the low tack tape for holding your dies in place. There is a small bottle of Distress Mica Spray in tarnished brass. You have a glue stick. You have some of this. It's kind of like ribbon, but it's got adhesive on the back, which I thought was super cool. And it's really pretty. There is an embossing folder. I will be using this in one of my card projects today. This is called All Star Burst, and it has these beautiful stars kind of coming out from the center. Then there's also some six by six paper. So they are double sided, lots of beautiful designs. If you need to make some quick cards or some quick tags, you can just trim them down, maybe just add sentiments to them or even those die cuts. Then there is also a shiny metallic gold pen, great for addressing onto your cards or writing personal messages to in the inside, our sucker that's always included in the kit. And then we have a stencil, which I love using my stencils. So definitely going to use that. And then we have this gorgeous stamp set. Now mine is going to look a little different than yours. I will explain that when I get to the stamp set. I'm going to jump right into my first card by creating a background at 80 pound white cardstock. And I'm starting with a sea foam ink and a flat blending brush. I'm going to blend this most of the way down the front of the cardstock, just adding that light blue color. And then I'm going to come in with Orchid and I'm going to go right over the top, starting at the top, work my way down and I'm going to have it. So I still have some of that light blue showing towards the bottom. Afterwards, I'm going to come in and bring that sea foam back again, just to kind of get that overlap into the purple and also just kind of brighten it up because it is a pretty light blue. Now back up towards the top, this time I'm bringing in Royal. And one of my favorite things to do is go over a purple with a dark blue. It creates the most beautiful glow. Now I'm going to stamp this large scene towards the bottom of my card. Now mine is all one piece, but when you get yours, I believe the bottom portions are going to be separate. Mine is just one that's received ahead of time, kind of a prototype. So yours is going to be a little bit different. Now I line that up towards the bottom of the card and I'm stamping this in VersaFine ink. Brand new stamp, lots of solid area. So I made sure to be careful when I lifted the door of the Misty so I could line it up perfectly again and stamp that one more time. So now I have this gorgeous silhouette towards the bottom of my card. But VersaFine stays wet for a little while. So I'm going to just go over that quickly with my heat tool so I don't smear any ink. And then I'm bringing in a sentiment off of that stamp set. I thought about putting in a star, but I'm just leaving that off for now because I wasn't sure how that was going to look. I'm going to prep this cardstock with an anti-static powder tool and I'm inking up the sentiment in a white pigment ink, just gently stamping that down so I don't squish my letters by pushing too hard. And then I'm going to sprinkle on some gold embossing powder. I can tap off the excess onto a scratch sheet of paper and then come in and melt that embossing powder with my heat tool. Now I'm going to create kind of a window into my scene. I'm using this arches die. I'll have it listed down below. I believe this is from Mama Elephant. So I die cut that out of white cardstock and I'm taking my Simon Says Stamp foam tape and I trimmed it in half and I'm going to line that foam tape all around the edge. This is just going to pop up my frame to give my card a little bit of dimension. 
and then line that up and push that down to go over my blended panel. Now, one last finishing touch is I dug out some of those stars that are in that sequence mix pack, and I'm attaching them around the sentiment using some connect glue that I have in a fine tip bottle and just using my jewel picker to attach those. I think this might be one of my favorites. I love the blend and that gorgeous silhouette. Now moving on to my second card, this time I'm using an embossing folder. And remember there was kind of that center focal point on the embossing folder. So I'm just trying to eyeball a little bit where that would be. And I started ink blending sea foam right in that general area. Then I'm going around all of the edges using that orchid ink again. And then I'm gonna come in around the edge once more with that royal. And if I need to, I can come back in with the sea foam to brighten up that center a little bit. What I really want to do is emphasize kind of that center where that embossing folder is going to be. So I'm placing this in that embossing folder, trying to line up where everything is coming together because that's also where I'm going to place my sentiment. So I went ahead and embossed that design and I'm so happy with how that turned out. But I wanted to kind of make those stars pop a little bit more. So I brought that royal ink back in and went back over the edges, kind of coming in towards the center. It's going to catch those raised areas. I put this over in my splat box and I'm spritzing on some of that stain that we got in there and check out the shimmer on this. It is so gorgeous, very subtle, but in person it is so shimmery and just beautiful for this card. I took that star die and I die cut it a few times from white cardstock and once from that matte gold cardstock and I layered together, layered them together and I'm adding them right where that focal point is. So I'm going to hold that down and even place a couple blocks on top to just really let that sit and adhere to that textured background. Now I know there are a ton of great sentiments on that stamp set, but I really wanted just a small single strip for a sentiment. So I found this off of one of the reverse sentiments that I have in my collection and I trim that down and I'm adding foam squares to each end and then I'm placing this over the center. So that is a card number two, a little bit more dramatic than my previous card, but I love the shimmer and how everything just draws your eye to the center of the card. Now the last card that I'm going to create is really quite simple. I'm placing the stencil that has all those stars on it over 80 pound white cardstock, holding it down with my magnets from my make art station, and I'm applying some of this gold glitter gel from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to just scrape that across the entire stencil, kinda get rid of any excess that I can put back in the jar, and then after I remove the stencil, I'm going to take my stencil to the sink and wash this off right away with warm water and soap. But now we have this beautiful gold on top of the white cardstock. While that was drying, I went ahead and created another frame, except this time I used some uh, rectangle dies from Hero Arts, and I die cut that out so I have this nice thick white frame that I lined with foam tape once again, and I'm placing over my dried background. I really have been loving creating frames for a lot of my backgrounds lately. And then this is a sentiment off of that stamp set that I heat embossed in gold on black cardstock and trimmed out with my scissors. So there are three card ideas to get you started using this card kit that is exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. I hope you enjoyed today's inspiration. I will have all of my supplies listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. Thanks so much for spending time with me. See you soon.